The untethered iOS 5.1.1 jailbreak that we've all been waiting for for quite some time was just recently released this morning. Unfortunately, I was at school at the time it was released, so I had to wait patiently until the end of the day, which is now for me to go ahead and make the tutorial over the jailbreak. It is available for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation, as well as 4th generation, and all iPads, iPad 1, iPad 2, and iPad 3rd generation. All you have to do is go ahead and go to my site, iOSnova.com, go to the jailbreak tab, click on Absinthe, and then on Absinthe, by the way, there will be a direct link available in the description below. Uh, you need to go ahead and download uh, 2.0.1, which is actually the updated version that was updated later today, fixing some of the bugs from the original uh, download or version, which is 2.0. Uh, so it has been improved slightly, but there are still some bugs. So if you experience any bugs, uh, you have to note that jailbreak has issues. You might not get it properly jailbroken on the first try. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and locate Absinthe wherever you saved it on your Windows or Mac computer. Go ahead and click open, and you're going to get this simple screen that will basically have a loading bar as well as a jailbreak tab. At this time, you need to have your iOS device plugged into your computer. You need to make sure that if you want to uh, basically secure your data and everything, all your content on the device itself, you need to go ahead and back that up and sync it to your device before you hit jailbreak. Uh, and once you hit jailbreak, it's going to go ahead and begin the process. You don't have to put it in the DFU mode or anything like that. It's extremely simple. All you do is have to plug it in. And like I said, it is recommended to go ahead and sync the device and restore it uh, to a clean restore to iOS 5.1.1 before beginning the jailbreak to have kind of like a clean start to the jailbreak. It's always the best way to begin a jailbreak. Uh, now, if you are new to the jailbreaking process, and this will take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and explain some things, uh, you might experience that your device might be a little bit slower. Uh, you might experience some issues. You might not even get this successfully jailbroken on the first try. Most likely, if you jailbreak a ton of devices, uh, you're going to have errors in between them, and you're going to have to do things like restore your device and go back and try to re-jailbreak sometimes. Uh, and that may very well happen to you throughout this tutorial. It's going to work for me the first time, uh, which I was lucky. And this jailbreak is extremely easy to use. It's they, they just continue to get more and more safe over time, so uh, really you don't have to worry about those things as much, but those problems do still exist. It's going to go ahead and reboot your device. It's going to say stuff like restoring. Uh, do not unplug your device. Don't hit the power button on your device. Don't shut off your computer. Don't do anything. Basically, just stay away from your devices throughout the whole entire process. There's nothing you have to do. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and load up here and... As you can see, once it does, you'll see the loading bar with the Apple logo. And if you guys need to know any of the basics over jailbreak, if you're new to jailbreak and you're not expecting the things like a possible slower devices in some cases, uh, visit the description below. I have a basic video. It's about 12 minutes long going over every single thing you need to know about jailbreaking before you jailbreak. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the passcode here, and you'll see that uh, it will have to respring once more. It basically just pops up the passcode you can type it in I guess but you're not going to see that city out and it's not really going to affect anything it's just going to respring again and then you guys can go ahead and type in your passcode or unlock your device again and if you scroll over you can see that Cydia should be there on your device so there you have it iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak for the iPhones, iPod touches and iPads of iOS 5.1.1 I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this Zagatardi 2744 if you're interested in seeing more of our iOS devices as well as my weekly iOS news podcast go ahead and hit that subscription button above that's really appreciated visit in the description below follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Gatardi2744 feel free to also check out my website iOSnova.com available in the description below comment and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video that's also appreciated thanks again for watching this Zagatardi 2744.